People often wonder how they can test a decoupler. If you've installed one of our devices to specifically block CP current, it's not a bad idea to make sure these devices are actually working. We do not require any testing to be performed, as these are solid state and maintenance free devices with no known lifetime limitation, but in some cases your company or others might require you to test the device. Dairyland product performance is legendary, with only a couple of failures reported in the many tens of thousands of devices installed all over the world, and those were mainly due to misapplication. So your chances of finding a failed product are extremely remote, however, we're often asked about how to test the product. Testing is actually quite simple. Usually, you'll be required to monitor your CP system to ensure that your pipeline or structure is adequately protected from corrosion. If the cathodically protected structure pipe to soil voltage is measured with respect to a reference cell and the results are in agreement with your past or expected readings for the location, then the Dairyland device is almost certainly functional. If you notice a change or decrease in your CP voltage, the decoupler functionality should be tested with a more direct method as a conducting or shorted unit would affect CP readings. While an indirect test, this is a reliable and simple method for any field staff to use. A more direct test of a decoupler is available, but that discussion falls outside of this introduction to decouplers. It requires only a multimeter and it is simple to perform. You can find out more information on this testing procedure at dairyland.com and in our tech blog section.